Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to do a small intranet for a small bicycle company here, which I'll call the Contoso Bicycles. And this is an exercise which I sometimes do with the students in my classes. So uh, I'm going to show you the answer to that. As you see, we have the goal of creating a small SharePoint intranet. And I'm going to start with the blank site collection. And this company has three departments, sales, production, and support. They each have their own area. And when we're talking about areas in SharePoint terms, that of course means sites. So I'm going to start in with this part, the point number two here. And I'm going to create three new sites, the sales, the production, and the support. So here I am in a Calmstrom demo site, and I'm going to start by changing the name of that site. And I'll do that under site settings here title, description, and logo. I'm just going to change that to Contoso Bicycles. And then I'll go ahead and save that. And here we go. We have the Contoso Bicycles. Now I'm going to create the subsites. I'm going to start by creating one subsite. And I'll do that by going into Site Contents and not adding an app in this case, but instead I'm going to add a Subsite, new subsite there. So I'm going to start by creating the sales site. That's going to be a theme site too. And I'm going to use the top link bar from the parent site to create that. Now I could go on and create the other subsites also, the one for production and the one for support. But instead, I'm going to finish sales and use that as a template for the other two. That will save me some time. Now I have two sites, one called Contoso Bicycles, which is the root site of my site collection, and an, a subsite called Sales, which is for the sales department. Now in these subsites, I want to be able to share documents, and that we already have. I also want to be able to share, as we see, appointments, tasks, and photos. So I'm going to go ahead and create some apps for that too. And I'm going to do that under Site Contents again. I'm going to add an app for appointments. And the app for appointment is, of course, the calendar app. So I'm going to search for that. And I'm going to call that Appointments. Create. And documents are already done, so now we can share appointments and documents. I'm going to go ahead and, and make sure that we can see this appointments link in the quick launch also. So I'm going to go into settings for that one. Calendar settings here. And I'm going to make sure that it's in the navigation here, in the quick launch navigation. Should it display this list on the quick launch. Save. And then I'm going to go into Site Contents again and add another app for Tasks. And that's one that's already on right here, so I don't need to search for that one. Tasks. There we have the Tasks. And again, I'm going to go in and change the settings so that they show up on the Quick Launch. And finally, I'll create the app for sharing pictures. I'm going to add an app again. Picture library. So I'm going to, I'm going to create a picture library app and add that. I'm going to call that photos. Create. And then I'm going to change that so that that shows up on the quick launch also. So that concludes that step. Now we have three departments. No, sorry, we have uh, one department. The sales one is done. We have documents, we have appointments, we have tasks, and we have photos. So the entire step two is done. Since the departments collaborate a lot over the boundaries, the whole internet should share a common navigation. Uh, as we see, we already have that. We have the common top navigation here. 
where we have Contoso Bicycles and Sail, so they share the same navigation. Next step is to have a link to into the navigation, pedaling.com. Should open a new in a new window. Let's wait on that one. We have done so far. It's rather good, but let's do the, the final step there later. Each department area should have contain three pages, progress, problems, and plans. Let's do that first. And now I'm gonna go ahead and create new pages. I'll do that on the sales site. And one of the ways to do that is to just mo modify the page here. I can go ahead and remove this, um, get started. And then I'm gonna go in and ed edit the page. And then I'm gonna add three new pages. And one way to do that is using the wiki linking. So I'm gonna do progress, problems, and plans. I'm gonna save that. And now when I click on these links, three new pages will be created. Progress. And I'm doing the same for problems. And finally, the same thing for plans. Now we have on the sales site, we have three pages linked from the home page called Progress, Problems and Plans. Beautiful. So that is done. Each department should have its own theme. I'm going to wait with that one too. And then I'm going to choose a YouTube video. So basically we've done all the common stuff now. So the next step for me is to save this by uh, this sales site as a template. And I can do that from the site settings. Save site as a template. This will of course now be in a department site. And I'm going to include the contents because I want those three pages to be there too. So I'm going to click OK. Save that. This site template will become available when I create new websites. You can see up here that it's working on it. Up there too. And that's completed successfully. Beautiful. So now I can go into Contoso Bicycles and create the other two subsites. I can do that here under site contents, create a new subsite, and there I can go into the custom now and use the uh, department site which I created. Production. And I'm going to use the same top link bar so that we have the common navigation. And now you see the production site has been created with the same three pages. And I'm going to go back to the root site and create a new subsite again under site contents. New subsite. And this will be the support site. And again, I'll use the custom template that I made, the one called department site. And I'm going to use the same top link bar again to get a common navigation among the three subsites. There we go, now we have one root site and three subsites. And now, of course, on each and every one of these, I'm gonna go in and change the theme. Under here, the th um, to change the look, under look and feel. Here are some of the themes. I'm gonna, just gonna select one, the bright and colorful one here. I'm gonna try that one out. Make sure to select the Seattle site layout otherwise you won't get a quick launch navigation and then I'm gonna keep that and here you go now I have the nice well at least distinct uh, theme of the support site and the production site has its own theme so then I would do that again same thing 
not going to go through that. Each department should have its own theme. We're done with that. And now here's there should be a link in the navigation to pedaling.com. That's somewhat tricky to do. You need to actually enable a feature called publishing infrastructure. But let me first show you why this feature is needed. Here is the common navigation here. I can add a new link here by clicking on edit links. And I can add a link here by clicking this plus sign here, add a link. But as you see, this is very limited. It can basically just have the text to display and the address. But there's no open in new window here, so that doesn't take us all away. But if you have the foundation version of SharePoint 2013, that's all you have. But if you have the server version or the enterprise version, then you can enable the publishing infrastructure feature. So I'm going to go into the site settings and make sure to do that when I'm at the root of the site collection. Here I'm going to go into site collection features and enable the feature called SharePoint Server Publishing Infrastructure. And that gives me much more control over the navigation. Now that's active and I can go into the settings here, the site settings. Now I'll go into the navigation. This link was actually not there before, and that's there thanks to the publishing infrastructure that I just enabled. I'll go into navigation here, and as you see now I can create a new link under near here, add a link, and there we have a lot more options. So now I can go to pedaling, and there I can select to open that in a new window. And now when I save this, OK, I have a new link that opens in a new window. And so then step number three is done. The only thing we have left to do now is to choose a YouTube video and insert it into the first page of the sales department. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. And I'm going to go to the sales department and modify the page again. And here I'll insert a video, embed. And here the code that I'm going to embed is going to be from YouTube. So I'll go open YouTube in a new window. Oh, I have a direct link there to the campstorm.com YouTube channel. Now I'm going to just take one of these videos and embed them into my SharePoint site. Let's have the one for SharePoint document tagger. I'm just going to click that, click that link here. And then I'm going to embed that. And I'm going to make sure to use HTTPS. Since my SharePoint site is using HTTPS, as you see, I need to have the YouTube link with HTTPS too. Then I'm going to just copy that, the iframe link, and then paste that in there. And it's actually previewing my video. And there we go. Insert that, snippet, and it looks beautiful. And now I've saved that, and I've inserted a video on the sales site. That concludes all the steps in this exercise. Thank you for watching this demonstration.